Before I came here, I was a naval submarine officer, and the part of my job I liked in the Navy is a lot of it is teaching. You're always trying to make your crew better and, and help them to perform their job better, think of new and exciting ways to do things. And so when I went to leave the Navy, I thought about what I wanted to do after that. I thought about really going into teaching because that's the part of the job that I, I enjoyed the most, and I really wanted to work with children and, and do something important. Jerome comes to his classes with a, an incredible background in his content area and he has this depth of knowledge from practice, from worldly experience that he shares with students. He can help students make real world connections. Mr. Moss affords us an opportunity to take classes that you can't take anywhere else. Um, I just finished a course with him in nuclear physics and chemistry and that's not a topic high school students can usually cover. He challenges them to challenge themselves. He's challenged the robotics team. He challenges the physics kids. He challenges everybody he touches. And it's quite inspirational or refreshing to me to know the kids are being challenged in such a great way. He pushes you to that limit where you don't think you can do anymore, but then you find out, hey, I can actually do this, and you're able to keep going, and then you keep pushing that a little bit more and more as he pushes you too. You can talk to him about anything you want to talk to him about. I think that's what the thing that strikes out the most to you, that he connects with all the students. One of the things I love about this school in particular is that we have teachers that connect so well with the students, whether you're in their class or not. And so I always loved just being able to walk down the hallway and knowing Mr. Moss personally because he's hilarious and helpful. He truly, truly uh, plays a, an important role here at Gamis and does all that he can to make this a better school for our students as well as the faculty and staff. Jerome has a tireless personality. He is always available, always easy to talk to, and he's just been tremendous in, in helping me get my feet on the ground this first year. Not only caring for the students, but caring for us also as teachers. And I think with, with Mr. Mas, every teacher at, at, in Gamas would know that he listens and he hears and he cares. He has a great sense of humor which uh, really comes out with his older students. He's a bit sarcastic with them but he knows where to hit them and where they come back to him and they love it. He just has fun with it. He doesn't care you know what anyone thinks about him. He just does it. And he makes class fun. Despite how bad his jokes are, we all do eventually laugh. <laughs> I like to joke around. Work should be fun. You, don't, you can't be serious all the time. It doesn't mean you have to be dour and sour all the time. It's really good to get out and, and you know, joke around with students. It sort of helps them relate very well to the students because he has that humor about him. And so they understand that there is a seriousness in terms of you know, his position as a teacher, but it also helps them to form relationships with him as well. I do hear the students talk about him, and if I could borrow a phrase from Oscar Wilde, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about, and he's being talked about. So obviously the students seem to appreciate him. All students have a different learning style. Some of us learn from lecturing, some of us learn from watching, um, and some of us learn from doing, and he really capitalizes on all three. Jerome has a special connection with his students. He approaches this work as a calling. This is not a job for him. This is something that he needs to do, and he gets fulfillment from seeing students succeed, from awakening science and imagination in students. Teaching is really a calling. It has to be something that you love. You have to love working with students and love seeing them grow and progress. You really have to listen to people. And we're, all teachers are good at talking, and, but you actually have to actively listen. And that's something I haven't always been as good at. But you have to listen to students because you have an awful lot to learn from them. You have to listen to your fellow staff members, uh, your fellow teachers, uh, because you have a lot to learn from them. You have to listen to administrators. You have to listen to secretaries. You have to listen to janitors. They all have something where you can learn from. And part of being a teacher is also always learning and always teaching and then bringing those lessons back to students.